This test is super important. It is our going zero to one on being an airplane company. Anytime we've seen an acceleration of a transportation network, it's always been accompanied by pretty significant social and economic growth. And we haven't seen one of those since the dawn of the jet age. I think today symbolizes the new era in, in aircraft development here in the United States. Hermes is an aerospace and defense technology company focused on radically accelerating aviation with high-speed and hypersonic airplanes. Quarter Horse Mark I is the first flight vehicle on our technical development roadmap. Its goal is really to demonstrate takeoff and landing, so it is a vehicle exclusively designed for just that mission. The next step, once we are comfortable with our ability to, to take off and land with a large unmanned aerial vehicle, the next step is to fly supersonic. So Quarter Horse Mark II, which we're building right now and we'll be hopefully flying later this year, will be our first supersonic aircraft. And then from there, we'll continue to expand the speed and altitude and, and capabilities. We're out very early. The, the aircraft's already out on the lake bed, um, doing some engine ground runs and checks and everything as we prepare for doing high-speed taxi, and then we'll step into our first flight. This test is super important. It is our first step in, in flight and, and really our going zero to one on, on being an airplane company. So there's, uh, there's certainly a lot on the line here. It's definitely been a long road, not just for this test operations team, but for the business writ large, feeling how close it is and like, today is the day. And if it's not today, it's tomorrow. And if it's not tomorrow, it's tomorrow. When Mark One left Atlanta, uh, I wanted to do something until we flew, so I decided to wear this hat. It's been like eight months now that I've been wearing this hat every single day. So one side, I used to love this hat, and now I hate it. And on the other side, it's just a daily reminder of like, keep going, keep going, keep going, get it done. Futuristic aircraft, which normally operate in excess of the speed of sound, are but a few of the many advanced projects under development at the Air Force Flight Test Center, situated in the middle of the Mojave Desert. I think the last time an airspeed record was broken, we're coming up on the 50th anniversary of that in 2027. We used to break them, like, every year, and it hasn't happened in almost 50 years. Every progression of military aircraft since the F-15 has gotten slower. So the F-15 was Mach 2.5 airplane, the F-22 was a Mach 2 airplane, and the F-35 is like a Mach 1.5 three-ish airplane if you're lucky. The amount of time it takes to develop a new aircraft is also something that has basically been monotonically increasing since 1975. So from 1945 to 1975, it would take an average of about five years to develop and field a new military airplane. And if you look at like how many airplanes were developed in that 30 year span, it's like over a hundred. Since 1975, it's only increased to the point where I think the F-22 and the F-35 took about 20 years to get to their initial operational capability. Funny thing happened in 1975. Kelly Johnson retired from Skunk Works. Coincidence, some would say, um, but I think there's a, a pretty significant coupling between those two things. You know, that his approach to development, iterative, hardware rich, um, like build a lot of prototypes, get them in the air, fly them, learn, and keep going to keep pushing the boundaries. That disappeared along with him. The airplane behind me here, the F-117, I think that was, took about five or six years to develop in field, which was kind of the, the last one that was down in that timeline. It's really special to be here at Edwards Air Force Base, uh, getting ready to, to fly our airplane for the first time. This is hallowed ground. So many first flights have happened here, taken off from here, landed from here. You know, the, the sound barrier was broken for the first time, the Bell X-1 here. It, it makes it a really, really special place to do what we're about to do. A new report showing the plane will now cost taxpayers more than $1.7 trillion. Oh, I would I would love to just delete cost plus contracting. Like if you had to pick one thing that has created the defense industrial base that we have today, it is cost type contracting. The incentive structure is just so upside down. How do I increase profits? I just charge you more. I just take longer. And the primes are either going to have to significantly reinvent themselves break down their own kind of sclerotic tissue and rise to the occasion of the modern challenge that we have or face extinction. That type of change, it's not just coming, like it's already begun. We've been just sat on the lake bed for like a few hours now. And so we're just kind of waiting. 
I've been through this enough times with tests. You get delays all the time. You just don't let it bother you. Just stay focused. This team is currently confirming readiness to step into hop. Why go hypersonic? Why build hypersonic airplanes? Anytime we've seen an acceleration of a transportation network, it's always been accompanied by pretty significant social and economic growth. And we haven't seen one of those since the dawn of the jet age. A Pan Am Boeing 707 streaks from New York to Paris in eight hours. The world enters the jet age. It kind of normalized to the planet moving at Mach 0.8. When I think about what Hermes can help create, I look back at the shoulders of giants that, that we stand on today. And like, what inspired me to be in the airplane world today? It was seeing things happen that we didn't think were possible. Scores of people connected with the X-1 flight program have expected the aircraft to surpass the speed of sound and maybe this is If we're able to, to do that and inspire the next generation of engineers, technicians, leaders, business people, all those kinds of things, by showing them that like things that people for a long time said were impossible, are only impossible until they're not. And he does it. The first human to crack the sound barrier. As he has confirmed, ready to step into hop, confirming with range safety. Five, four, three, two, one. I think people are tired of the status quo. We've got people who can't stand the fact that growth has stagnated and take it upon themselves to change that. Plane is off the ground. Woo! That's what I think what keeps humanity going and growing. Vehicle at 20. Successful touchdown. You're the CEO of an airplane. <laughs> oh, shit. Congratulations, man. Oh, here we are. Oh, yeah.